I'm still out here. It's it's pretty nice. It's nice. It's quiet. It's you know. but with this one now I'm using the, the camera mode. But with this one, it's like talking about like being there for for people. You know, you can tell them, and you can want to help them. You can want to help them, and it's like. You know, you know what's gonna go on. You know what's gonna happen, and you give them warnings. They don't listen to the warnings. They they don't care. That was a doggy. Well, he's walking his dog, but you know they don't listen and they don't care. And then it's like you know I've seen parents. I've seen adults. Adults they go through things because their kids going through some things. So and then the parent starts going through all this shit because their kids wants wants to be a dumbass or their kid wants to be a drug addict or their kid wants to be to be out there like just to be fucked up like they want to be like that and it's like and then the parent goes running behind the kid and like missing their whole life and their whole life it like goes to shit because they're running around their kid and it's like you know what as a parent I feel you know we're supposed to raise them and train them and teach them how to do things how to behave what do you want what do you want you know love yourself you know and then they're supposed to go on their own they're not supposed to live with you for the rest of your fucking life you know no you're gonna get out my house and you're gonna learn this shit you're gonna figure this shit out and then it's like don't be with a low life don't be with a, a fucking piece of shit you know it's like, if that's what you want to do, I am not going to be chasing behind you. I'm not going to be running behind you, helping you, saving you. I'm not doing none of that because you already know. You already know this shit. It's like, I've been through all this shit and I've been single. I've been single for a long fucking time. And then you think I'm going to attach myself to a piece of shit so that they can just like ruin my entire life and then you see me single and then you want to go and you want to attach yourself to a piece of shit because you don't want to be by yourself it's like love yourself love your fucking self it's like you know whatever happens it's like whoever's gonna come into your life they're gonna be just like you they're gonna be they're gonna be everything like you they're not gonna be piece of shit <laughs> like why would you want to attach yourself to a piece of shit just to say that you have somebody like lust is not love see i'm outside yeah i'm out here it's it's the police you can see it yeah it's the police cars but what is it you know and i'm, I'm just talking like i'm i'm just a mom <laughs> i'm a mom and that is like I see other moms and they go through it and they go through it because they're kids and they want to help their kids and they want to save their kids and run behind their kids and it's like and then you miss out on your whole life because you running behind your kid they supposed to know better like once they turn 18 they're supposed to fucking know right from wrong they're supposed to know you got to go to school you got to get a good job you got to have money in a bank you got to know how to spend your money you got to know how to do do some basic things you know if you're going to be in a relationship don't be with a whore don't be with a whore don't bring no holes in this house <laughs> like you cannot come here and bring a hole to, to to the house and be like oh this is my girlfriend no you have to bring a, a decent girl home that's all i wanted for my you know the boys like you bring a decent girl <laughs> you get a decent girl don't bring no hoes to this house and then it's like it's just harder for i don't know the the, the girls it's like you need the father you need a father there you need the father to give dominance or i don't know because it's like the girl was always going to test you you're always gonna bump heads it's like it's always gonna be a problem and then it's like because it's you and them and you're the same you're females and i think i think you know i i did the best that i could you know and i try to teach them like you know you get a good education you go to a good school <clears throat> 
money. <laughs> I have a bank account. Know how to save your money. Know how to spend your money. Know how to budget yourself. And then when it comes to relationships, it's like I chose to be alone so that you don't be with a piece of shit. But they choose to be with a piece of shit. Like, that's what they chose. That's what they chose to attach themselves to. And I'm like, yo, I'm not helping you. I'm not helping you. I'm not chasing behind you. I'm not. You're going you gonna to cry by your fucking self. You're going to feel all kind of ways by your fucking self. Because I'm not doing that. I'm not doing it. I am I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm not doing that. I'm not 18. I'm 40. And I am not chasing behind a fucking teenager. Like, I'm not doing that. The fuck? I did my best. And it's like, it is what it is. And whatever happens, it happens. And I'm just putting this out there. I'm just putting this out there as a mom. Like, as a mom to other moms and other parents and other, you know, don't chase behind the kids. Like, don't chase behind them. Like, they want to sit there. They want to fuck up their life and they want to fuck up their future. Like, that's on them. That's not your problem. They're your kids. Yes, we love them. But once you hit (laughs) <laughs> and you're an adult whatever they do is not your problem whoever they choose to be with that's not your problem like that's who you chose to be with you chose a piece of shit you knew that <laughs> was a piece of shit making you cry and feel all kind of crazy and angry and mad like that's not love like and, and you want to attach yourself to somebody like that Then they want to do black magic on you. They want to do money spells. They want to attach themselves to you because you not broke. (laughs) So they want whatever you got because you not broke. It is like, oh, hell no. I would never. I don't even speak to people like that. (laughs) And it's like, you want to attach yourself to somebody like that? Yo, you know what? I love you. (laughs) I love you. I really do. I love you. But I'm not doing that. I'm not chasing behind no kids. <laughs> behind no 20, no 18. I'm not chasing behind them. Like, you want to fuck up your life and your future? That's on you. That's all you. I, nah, I'm not, do- I'm not doing that. I'm just running my mouth. I'm just talking. I'm just venting. I think I'm venting. I had to go outside. I was like... I can't believe this shit. I can't believe this shit. I was, no, I was like, I gotta go out. <laughs> Leave it love. Leave it love. Stay positive. Bye bye. At least one of them is on the right path. That's all I can say. But I love them both. I love them both. Leave it love. Bye.